This is the video that nobody asked for, but every so often somebody asks me about this topic. So as usual, I'm going to make a video about it so I never have to answer it again. Uh, no, no. <laughs> the question has to do with this button. In the Betaflight Setup tab, what does the Reset Z-Axis button do? I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. There's a common misconception that the reset Z axis button in some way relates to like the board alignment that like if you've got a board, your, your flight controller is rotated 90 degrees like that you can fix that somehow by hitting reset Z axis. Or if your quadcopter is flipping out when you try to take off because your board alignment is incorrect, that reset Z. I've seen people suggest to people who are having that problem that they like hit the reset Z axis button. And it's all completely wrong. The reset Z axis button has no effect at all on the quad's flight characteristics. Here is the only purpose of the Z axis button. You got your quadcopter and in the beta flight configurator, the 3D model is moving as you move your quadcopter. But the problem is that Betaflight can tell when I tilt my drone left and right and when I pitch it forward and when I rotate it, but it can't tell which way the quadcopter is facing, right? So right now, the quadcopter is facing away from me, but on screen, it's facing towards me. Well, why is that? It's because when I plug in USB, Betaflight has no idea which direction the quadcopter is facing. It doesn't know where my screen is. So if I plug it in like like this, I don't know, just however you plug it in, Betaflight just reads that as facing away, facing into the screen. So if you're trying to like figure out something about your quad and you don't like the fact that the 3D model on screen doesn't match the way your quad is actually facing, face your quadcopter into the screen away from you and then press the reset z-axis button and now the quadcopter on screen will also be facing straight away from you and then they'll be lined up that's the purpose of the calibrate z-axis button or the reset z-axis button and the key thing to take away from this video is that that button has no effect whatsoever on flight characteristics all it does is rotate the displayed 3d model to match the orientation of the quadcopter in actual space that's it. Quick, short and sweet. Happy flying, you guys. Do you see this baby? Isn't he cute? Hit the subscribe button. Join my Patreon. Use my affiliate links. Or just keep watching videos. That's better than nothing. Google Gaga, subscribe to my daddy.